Hey guys, today I'm back in Polybridge 2, and I want to try beating the first set of challenge levels using only ropes for support. Now this means that I will need everything but the roads themselves to be under tension, and that's going to lead to some complicated bridges. So let's get right into it. Now starting out on the first level here, I just deleted my bridge, and I wanted to try building a rope truss to show why this doesn't work. Now I got these triangles put in place, and giving it a test, it held a lot better than I thought, but it still was not close to working. Now since ropes can't go under any compression, any sort of truss like this that relies on that compression isn't going to work. Now fortunately though, a dangling road does work fine to beat this level, but they're all not going to be that easy, and the second level already has some problems. You see as the truck approaches the road, it ends up just breaking it immediately, and I realized I was going to need something a little more rigid for this. Now I decided just to reinforce my dangling road, and to do that I have to attach a rope to every single one of the nodes, and once I had that done here, you see as the truck gets on it, it actually does sort of work, it's holding rigid, but the truck slams down a little bit too hard and falls into the water, but just by moving up a node on the left side a little bit here, the truck can get on it just fine, the slope is just barely fine enough that the truck doesn't break it, and I beat the level. Now the difficulty ramp here is very severe, because this next level is extremely hard. Now I started out here just by using some ropes like I did before, and I'm using a new trick now. Basically what I'm doing is using a couple of ropes to hold back the truck from pushing them into the water, and this works really well here, but the truck ends up flipping over, and I realized this level is going to be quite hard, so I wanted to come back to it later once I got a little bit more knowledge. This next level here though looked really interesting. Now of course I have these two cars that need to get across, but the one on top needs to gain elevation, and to do that I'm going to need to use my rope trick from before. Now I started out on the challenge level here, and the thing with the challenge level is you don't get nodes in the very top platform, which literally makes this impossible, but I figured I might as well start out by working on the bottom car, and then figuring out how to do the top one. So once I got that roadway on the bottom, I just reinforced it like I did for the last few levels, and giving it a test now, it does seem to work, right up until the car ends up slamming down on it, so I took that is my cue to go out of the challenge level and just into the normal level. Now since the challenge level I'm pretty sure would be impossible here without unlimited budget, I wanted to at least give it a shot in the normal level and see if that was doable. Now you'll notice all of the extra nodes I get here, but most importantly I have some on the very top platform. Now if you're getting rid of some extra roads in the bottom, I basically just recreated the bridge that I had last time, and once I was done with that, I copied it over to the top. This isn't going to work because the sports car is going to lose elevation here, and I needed to actually go up a little bit, but I figured I could use this as base to start making the real bridge. And that's when I had an idea. I realized if I put a couple extra roads like this, I can use my rope trick from before to gain a little bit of height, and if I do this on both sides, I should be able to touch the star and then get right back down to the platform. Now I also added a road in place here, and this is to make it just a little bit smoother for the car to get across so it doesn't bottom out like it did before. Now of course after that, I basically just made the same bridge on the other side, and with all that done, I want to give it a test now. And you can see the car gets over really well, but as soon as it hits that star, it sort of slams down on the bridge, and that ends up breaking it. So I actually connected the two bridges together, and I used a few more ropes for a bit more support, and just barely in budget here, I did manage to get it across, but it ended up hitting the bridge a little awkwardly on the other side, and that broke it. So I had to lower it a little bit more, and now with that ramp working properly, it's able to get right over it and hit the flag. Now with level 5 done, moving on to level 6 here, and this one's kinda challenging. I'm gonna have a really long span of support, but the good news is that the Vespa I need to get across is really light, so that should make things slightly easier. Now starting out here by making a simple ramp, and you can see the Vespa can't even get over this fine, and ends up just breaking it. Now I really didn't want to use roads for support here, but just temporarily I wanted to try using them, and then in the future I figured I'd probably figure out a way to shave them out. So I used a rope here and a couple of roads on the bottom, and these are going to be to support up the bridge a little bit higher. Once I had that done here, I'm going to use my rope system from before and hold up this ramp area. Now it was a little weird at first, with a bit of tuning I did get it the way I wanted, and giving it a test now, it actually did support the Vespa pretty well here, but it broke at the very end. But I figured if I copy this over, maybe there'd be some way to support it better in the middle and keep the Vespa up. But of course, I still wasn't really in love with this because I was using roads for support. I figured out now I could get rid of the roads in the bottom if I used ropes that go across the boat. The problem is though, there's really no way for me to move these down any further and the boat just ends up breaking them. But that's also when I realized I could just brace these roads right against the island. Now at first, I didn't try this because I thought it would not really support itself fine, but it actually does. It holds itself up pretty well here, and I can mirror it over, and all I need to do is figure out a way to get a road over the middle. And putting a road down actually almost worked, but it sagged a little bit too far, and that's when the boat came through. So I just raised it up a bit more, and giving it a test here, the Vespa does get on the bridge, but you'll notice it ends up rolling over, and then it can't drive anymore. So that's why I added in an extra piece of road here, and this gives a little bit of ramp to the Vespa, and that allows it to get on the bridge fine, and now I was just going to need to get over the middle here. And it was so close to working, but 
as soon as it crested, it ended up just snapping the bridge. Now for some extra support here, what I ended up doing was adding in an extra reinforced road, and this also works as a ramp to get the Vespa off of the bridge. Now in this first test here, you can see it does work out fine. The Vespa gets across and gets up it, but I didn't like it because this extra road piece here, you could probably consider support. So that's when I decided to get rid of this ramp road and actually put it back in so that it's just slightly behind where the original road was. This means that the Vespa is going to technically drive on every single road piece, and I'm going to consider that as meaning I'm not using any roads for pure support. Now, of course, as with everything, it took a lot of tries here, but I did eventually get it right, and you can see here, Vespa gets up, and I beat the level. Now, looting up in level 8 here, it was the first level that actually was just easy. The thing is, this level is normally designed for ropes, and you can see here, with pretty minimal effort, I just braced everything to the top hot air balloon, and with that, I actually beat the level. Now, level 9, I was right back in a bad spot, because the thing is, it's not really that hard of a bridge to make, but it's just that this vehicle is really annoying, and the budget is also really small. I can't use ropes on every single piece like I've done before because I run out of budget, so instead here I have to selectively choose which ones to use, but then you can see the bridge ends up breaking quite often and it breaks really close to the beginning, so I figured an entire redesign was probably going to be needed. Now I wanted to try just using a dangling road for this level, and this didn't work originally, but if I lower it a little bit more, you can see that the truck goes right over the middle of the bridge and it hits that rock. Now that rock supports it right in the middle where the maximum stress is, and that just barely allows the dangling road to work and surprisingly easily, this level was beat. Now moving on to perhaps one of the hardest levels here, this one I have to have a buggy get all the way to the other side, but there's really no great way to do it. The problem is if I try using a ramp here, it's just going to end up breaking under the stress, and even if I reinforce it, it has to be really steep before I can have it support itself. So that's why I decided to do a small redesign here and try to use an extra ramping piece to have it go over. Taxi runs into it and just loses all of its speed. Now I decided here to go for a really simple ramp and just keep it as short as possible. This ended up breaking, but it did allow the car to get pretty far across, and it landed somewhere in the middle of the water. Now I tried raising up more, and this didn't break, but it gave me pretty much the same effect here, so I realized I was going to need some way to catch the car, and this was going to be extremely difficult. Now originally I used three cables here, and unfortunately I had to use a really long one to catch the car, and as the car came across, I hit into it, and just instantly broke it. Now the angle could have been better, but that really wasn't a great sign, and next up I just tried finishing up the roadway here and seeing what could happen happen, but even with it just grazing the roadway, it just instantly destroys it. So I separated off the top road, and I was just going to use it as a sacrificial road to take a lot of the force and hopefully prevent the bridge from breaking, but even this was still causing the bridge to break. So I messed around even more, and eventually here I had to use a second road as a braking road, and as the buggy runs into it, it loses a lot of speed, and I figured this might just barely be enough to prevent it from shattering everything. And as it landed on this bottom road, it was still breaking it, but it was a lot more promising. But even with a lot of positioning, it was still just shattering this bottom road, and that's when I added in a second road onto that first braking road. I was hoping this would allow it to absorb even more of the impact and prevent it from just breaking everything. So with that done, I added in some more roads here, but you'll actually notice I'm running out of roads. Ordinarily, you only get eight roads to beat this level, and I have unlimited materials on because normally you can't use ropes, but I really want to try to hold on to that eight road limit and not get above it. Now fortunately here, I actually did manage to get the buggy to land on this and not break. This was the first time I could actually gain height once I was on the bottom, but there's still a long way to go. So I started out by deleting a road all the way on the left ramp, and after that, I tried repositioning some stuff, and you'll actually notice I got rid of my double road from that very first braking road. I knew this was definitely going to be necessary in time, so once I did that, I tried going for a bit of a different design where the buggy sort of goes straight into them, and this was a lot smoother. I had a lot more roads to work with, but it was still just barely hitting the island. And I added in one more road here just to see how close I was, and this was actually just enough to get over. But of of course, I'm one road over the limit, I'm gonna need a way to get this done. Now to shave this extra road off, I realized what I needed to do is get rid of one of the braking roads that I had. So with a lot of difficulty and changing a lot of ropes to cables and moving things around a lot, after probably over an hour, I finally got the car across, and I was only using eight roads. Now moving into this next level here, the main goal is to get the blue car all the way across, and then I need the van to also go across at the same time, but stop in the middle, allow the boats to pass, and then go through. Now I started out here, and I was going to make a dangling road, and this was supposed to limit the amount of roads I needed to use as support. The problem though, is that since the water line is so high, it's actually really hard to keep the blue car out of the water, and even with a bunch of reinforcing, I really couldn't do it often. 
Ruffin, so I had to go for an overdesign instead, but I knew this one was going to require a lot of reinforcing as well, and the amount of roads I was using as support was kind of getting crazy here. Now, I weighed down the back van just temporarily here, and it was somewhat supporting the car, but even this was struggling a lot, and I just didn't really like the amount of support I was using, so I decided to do the non-challenge version of this level, and hopefully use a lot less support this way, and already I was off to a much better start. You can see now I'm using a pretty simple design in the front, but it's this back part that's a lot harder. So if we got all this designed up here, you see the blue car gets across fine, and all I need now is a connecting road. Now after putting this in place though, things got kind of rough. Starting out, you can see it just sort of breaks often, and once the blue car gets on it, it always overstresses immediately. So I tried using a diamond road on the right side to make it stronger, but it was still struggling a lot, and I knew I was close, but I wanted to come back to this one later, and I wanted to see if I could use anything else that I had learned during this challenge. Now next up here is this limo level, and my normal solution here is actually pretty straightforward. I use the rock to drive on for a bit, that's to save some roads here, but now I'm gonna need to do the same thing, but with a curved road. This presents some problems, because now the limo's got to get over some pretty steep gaps, and it has a really hard time doing that. And I was gonna have to figure out a way to ramp the limo down, but I really can't just decrease the slope of the bridge at all, because if I do that, the rope's not gonna be able to support it anymore. Now that's what I ended up realizing, if I use a triangle of roads like this, the limo is actually able to drive on them for a second and then get off. Now I'm technically using a couple of extra roads here for support, but it does allow me to get over this pretty easily here and prevents me from using a lot more roads for support on the main part of the bridge. Also supporting this is getting really expensive because the nearest node is really far away and it still ends up breaking, which I didn't love. That's when I realized though, I can actually support one of these roads through the rock like this. And if you use another rope to hold it down, this actually supports it pretty well here and Limo's able to get on the rock. Now that half the bridge looking good, I needed to get the other half done here and I just had another road temporarily and you can see the Limo got on it pretty well. And all I have left to do is get all the other roads in place. Now I figured this would be really easy. So I just started putting in some ropes here and not really caring about the budget. And after a while, you can see here, Limo gets on everything, gets on that second part of the bridge, but it runs into a problem. Once it gets all the way to the top, it gets stuck and it's really badly stuck. Now I can't really decrease the slope of the bridge for the same reasons I couldn't do it before. But what I can do is add some extra roads to lie on the land. And this allows the limo to wean off its really steep slope. And that ends up being just gradual enough that the limo gets off and hit its flag. Now this next level here you can see relies really heavily on hydraulics. And the normal way to beat it isn't too bad. You just have the bridge pull up. But in order to do this with just ropes, I needed a way to get over this boat. And the challenge version of this level kind of makes that impossible. I tried doing something with some sort of trap door. That ended up not working at all. And I went to the normal level here and it was a lot more manageable. Now this still wasn't easy and you'll see here, the ambulance really likes to just break everything and this gap is also huge. Now since I already had it saved, I figured I might as well try doing a variation of my one wood challenge video. And once I had everything braced up in place, I tried using it, but it just didn't work. Even though I'm sure the bridge is stronger than it was before, it would just instantly break and I knew I needed a different solution. And I started out here by making a bridge that would hold itself up but that missed the checkpoint. Then I lowered it and I wanted to create some sort of swinging roadway so that as the ambulance came near it, it'd be able to push it down and get over. And you'll actually see here, it's not bad. The ambulance gets over to the other side, it barely misses the checkpoint, but the bigger problem is that it always slams into the bridge. Now I tried a variation of this where I actually used two roads that fold inward and it broke at first, but with a little more work, I did get it to actually hit the checkpoint and not break everything. This though was still a long ways away because as I got over that gap, the front wheel just gets stuck and then I got nowhere. But I tried shrinking the gap in and after that, I gave it another test here and with an unbelievable amount of tuning, I eventually did get the ambulance to push down on it, just folding it in place, barely exposing the star, and it would actually hit it and then get over. The thing is though, once it did this, it would just break the right side of the bridge because it was a little bit too weak. So an increase of strength, unfortunately I had to use some diamond pieces of road, and this had some redundant pieces of road that technically are being used just for support, but I did manage to beat the level and I only had a few of those extra pieces. Now moving on to the first level that I just literally could not beat here was Land Brace. Now I would have just done the non-challenge version, but doing that really uses a lot of roads for support, so I figured if I couldn't beat the level here, there was really no point in doing the normal version. Now to get this to work, you see there, I put in a few roads, used a lot of ropes to put them all together, but I'm actually using a rope braced all the way to the other island, and that's the only way it gets held up. It actually did work, but the thing is, it sagged a little bit, and that prevented the bike from getting over. Now there was really no solving that, so I tried another idea instead. This time I braced to the left island, and that allows me to gain some height. I figured for sure this would be a lot better, and it sort of was, but as the bike got over, it would frequently just 
get stuck, and if I tried lowering the roads to prevent that from happening, it would just instantly fracture. Now once I got it semi-working, it still was pretty far away because I needed another road here to get all the way to the other side, and trying to put this in place was definitely not going to work. So I decided instead, maybe I should use a falling road. Now I tried hitting the tire here, and it just didn't seem to impart that much force. Now no falling roads were mostly patched out, but I was hoping to at least get something out of that. So with that failed, I needed another idea here, and I was going to use a rotating roadway. Now I wasn't sure of why this would do any better than just having three roads all attached together, but it at least had a chance of working, so after I got those put in place here, use some ropes to hold it all together. Now the rotating roadway, the way it's going to work here is as the bike drives on it, it should push it down a bit, and that pushing motion should allow me to get to the other side, and if anything breaks, it gives me a little bit of time to get there. Now starting out, it would get stuck very often. It was basically the same problem as before, and even in the best case scenario, it would fall really short. So really just a limited budget on this level was killing me, and I had to move on. And now, I just wanted to revisit two levels from before that were giving me some trouble, and the first one here is level 4. Now starting out, it was a little bit too big, so I had to shrink it down, and this is when I realized to get the support I would need, I'm gonna need to use some sort of reinforcing here. So I started out with a road on the bottom, and this was close, and I had to change it out for a diamond road. This got me all the way there, and now I just needed to get the right side going. And to do this, to get it all hooked up right, I need to use two extra road pieces for support. And this was close, but it just barely broke. So it took a lot of tuning to get this right over the boat, but eventually didn't run into it. The truck narrowly avoided falling over, but it made it to the other side, and that beat the level. And now finally here, all I have left to do is this level with the two vehicles. Now I started out here just by designing the right side, and I was trying to use as few extra pieces of road as possible, and I actually got it down so I only needed three pieces of roads in the middle, and two on the left side to hold it all up. This seemed pretty much as good as I could get it, and after the blue car got over, you can see the van continues on and hits its flag. So guys, thanks for watching. This video definitely took a long time just because the amount of tuning I had to do, especially the level with that buggy, was just kind of insane. But if you have any more challenge ideas, make sure to leave them down below. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. If you like the video, make sure to like the video and all that other stuff, and otherwise, until next time.